Finally, the grandfather of the bucket of baseballs and his note. It was last week here we showed you that note written by a grandfather and taped to a bucket of baseballs. Randy Long, the grandfather from Montgomery, Alabama, wrote, free. Hope someone can use some of these baseballs in the batting cages. I found them cleaning my garage. I pitched them to my son and grandson for countless rounds. My son is now 46 years old and my grandson is 23 years old. I am 72 and what I won't give to pitch a couple of buckets to them. They both moved away. If you're a father, cherish these times. You won't believe how quickly they will be gone. God bless. He left that bucket at the ballpark. Tonight, that grandfather right here. Hello, David. Randy has been so moved by the reaction, he and his son Jason and his grandson Ethan all getting together for batting practice. I'm uh, certainly happy the way this has affected a lot of people that we've heard from. Including Brian Robinson and his son Carter. They were the ones who found the bucket and note, writing his heartfelt act of kindness has touched us a lot. His grandson Ethan back with us tonight. Hey David, the main thing I'd like people to take away from this is to just make those memories with your family. Don't take them for granted because they'll be gone before you know it. A grandfather's note when we all needed it. Good night. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.